Hello and welcome everyone to this video on creating and managing user decision steps by Zaran Tech. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our Zaran Tech YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any update from us. So hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss the concept of creating and managing user decision steps in workflow. So see, when uh, the transaction code for our workflow is nothing but SWDD. And what do you do mainly do in a workflow? So you do nothing, but uh, you mainly create a, a process. Or the main requirement in any workflow is to automate the business process. So let's take an example for it. And the example will be quite simple here. So the example is that Suppose you want to apply for a leave and your system, how will you apply for that leave? You will simply create a workflow there. Then you will decide, you will give a user decision and you will assign an agent for it. And the agent for it will be nothing, will be no other than but your reporting manager. So your reporting manager will decide whether you will be taking that leave or not based on the reasons that you will be providing to him or her. So these are the things that we mainly do in our workflow, we mainly create a, a business process, mainly we automate any business process using workflow. So suppose you assigned a task to your reporting manager and if your reporting manager is approving or rejecting it within a time period, you can decide the time period if he or she will be able, available to approve or reject it then it is okay and if he or she is not available to approve it then the, it will be automatically approved. You can decide design this using any workflow there. So the requirement is quite simple. We are going to create a workflow for a leave request, approval or rejection. And what we are going to do here is we will make a user decision. Now what is the meaning of user decision is? So in the user decision, you will basically provide the decision that you want to be shown on the screen. And you will assign the name of the agent whom that particular decision will be assigned. So see, this is any workflow and the first step of any workflow is always workflow started and the last step will be workflow completed. And in between, you will add all the workflow that you want to be, that you want, you will add all the steps that you want to be a part of it. So let's see what we are going to do here is, uh, we will simply right click here to create a step. And as soon as you will right click here, we will see the step type. So basically these are the various kind of step types that we can select for a step. And for our today's requirement, what we are going to do is we are required to create a user decision. So this is the user decision that we are required to create. I will please select it. And here you will be giving the title. The title is approve slash reject leave. And this is the, my title for the requirement. Also, we have got various parameters here and the, what are the parameters here is the, you can select these parameters to assign any workflow container. Suppose you want to pass any value. So for that purpose, what you will be doing here is you will be creating a workflow container here and you can assign that particular container in this parameter so that at the runtime, you can pass any kind of data you, to your reporting manager. For example, your employee name, employee ID, and the reason for leave so that your manager can decide whether you should or she should approve your leave or not. In the agents, you can add the name of your reporting manager. And here, suppose you can assign, either, you can use a user here and you can give his or her name. I'm simply assigning it to workflow initiator to myself only. And these are the various decisions that we are required to assign. The first one, I am, suppose I'm giving approve and it will approve, reject, reject. And one more decision I'm giving is I'm not sure. 
not your meat uh, meat personally so if this decision will be taken by rm then i will have to go to personally meet him so not sure okay now simply click on this okay button here what we will do is so i simply click on save and assign a name and abbreviation so the name is workflow and approve or reject workflow then assign the package and transport request and press enter so these are the various three steps uh, the various three decisions that my reporting manager will be making after seeing my workflow so let's now see let's decide what will happen if you will select this decision or this decision or this decision so in case of approve right click and go to create button and here we will select the send mail so we will select send mail for all of them and here you can assign the user for my today's requirement i'm assigning it to myself only the subject is leave request approved so here what i will do is i user your leave request has been accepted by your rm that is reporting manager click on this ok button assign the evaluation and name press enter assign the package and transport request then we'll go to reject one right click on it go to create button and again we'll select the send mail option uh, rejected leave and here i will give hi user your leave request has been rejected okay click on this okay button assign the abbreviation name press enter and assign the package and transport request then again not sure right click on it go to create button and what we will do here is we will again select the send mail option we will give the subject as not sure and my recipient type will be workflow initiator itself because i am creating it for testing purpose so not sure and hi user your leave request uh, has been ignored you are required to meet your rm and again click on this ok button what i will do is click on this ok button assign the abbreviation and name and right click sorry double click on it and assign the package and transport request so these are the various things that we have created and you can see we have got various steps here the first one is user decision and the level. all the rest of them are send mail now we can simply click on this activate button to activate our workflow so now my workflow has been created so if i'll click on this execute button whom should it will be assigned it will be assigned to this workflow initiator here you will be assigning the name of your agent so i've given workflow initiator it means that the one who will execute the workflow this workflow should be assigned to him so i'll simply click on this execute button and i'll go to slash o s b w p t code uh, to check if this workflow is being assigned or not uh, i'll go to okay currently this workflow has not yet assigned click on this execute one Oh, wait a minute. Let me check it again. Oh, let's go with WDD. Click on execute. Go to business workplace. And in the inbox, yes, see, my workflow has been assigned here. And if you will 
you can see the description here approve or reject leave and select one of the available of decision option this complete the following of this step uh, now click on it and you can see we have got the three steps here and cancel and keep item in inbox so this will keep item in my inbox automatically so if you want to not do anything on it you can click on the cancel button now i am selecting not sure meet me personally okay now i'll go to the back button and what i will do here is uh, i'll simply uh, click on this execute one and i'll select not sure here so that i can show you the workflow log so see what i have the steps i have selected not sure and the date and time on which I have selected this particular step is being shown here. So now you understand the meaning of it here is the decision steps, how we can make a decision here. So this this is the way where we can create and manage our decision. We can sir, give any <coughs> mainly five decisions we have, oh sorry, we can give any number of decisions here and on the basis of that decision what we can do here is we can create uh, any kind of steps for that particular requirement so this is all about my creating and managing decisions steps in workflow all right so thank you very much